The State Department of Agriculture is limiting the import of cattle from certain states because of an outbreak of avian flu, also known as bird flu. Now, this is impacting milk production in some states and can cost farmers who are trying to turn a profit. They won't be able to sell the milk. They won't have as much milk to sell. So that's the main issue facing farmers right now. The Maryland Department of Agriculture says wild birds have been carrying this for years and likely introduced bird flu to herds now infecting cattle in seven states. Maryland is now requiring additional testing for cows imported into the state. If you've got wild bird flyways uh, going through your state, which we do, you're susceptible to outbreaks of avian influenza. If a cow contracts bird flu, they become lethargic and their milk production decreases. Typically, cows can get healthy after a week of rest and recovery. The main thing that farmers can do is the prevention, practicing good biosecurity. We can keep a good eye on the cattle. Humans contracting bird flu is very rare, but one case was reported in Texas, according to the CDC. Right now, there's no consumer risk because milk is pasteurized before hitting store shelves, and farmers are required to only distribute milk from healthy cows. As long as you're drinking pasteurized milk and cooking your beef to the correct cooking temperatures, then the avian flu will be killed. In that process and it'll not get any human sick. Broom Bloom Dairy says the restrictions will help keep the dairy farm safe statewide and keep the multi million dollar industry operating. All of your milk you buy from grocery store is local, um, so it's coming from a dairy farm that's around us, and I think they're kind of more of the backbone of this community than I think a lot of people realize. The state is offering a couple of tips to farmers to keep their cattle safe. That includes monitoring for any illness and reporting any cases of bird flu to the State Department of Agriculture. For now, reporting in Bel Air, Tara Lynch, WJZ.